hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to do this requested tarot reading for uh, this uh former six star member um this is my first time i believe uh, uh to read for a sister uh, member uh i don't think i have done for the group either in the past uh so wish me luck and of course uh, her name is Soju. I hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly and if I'm not, I apologize to the fans. <laughs> but yes, this uh, this reading is going to be dedicated to her, so let's see how it goes. Um, so yes, from, the, from what I was uh, talking with the person that requested this, she mentioned uh, to me that uh, Soju had... Um, different birthdays is that possible or like i mean i know it's possible but um probably different beard dates so she she told me that the accurate one would be the se september one so that would make her a virgo um and definitely i sense a lot of virgo energy here so uh, of course i'm going to uh, expand my my reading so we can connect a bit with what's going on with her in her life and in her career. So starting off, we start with the Four of Swords in reverse, which is actually is great because, you know, I call this my Hayatus card, the Four of Swords. So since this is in reverse, it could represent, represent that actually she is like getting out of a period of inactivity or not being active or actually being like resting also so this is uh it's great also we have the nine of swords the six of pentacles the hangman and the hermit so yes i think that it's very meaningful um i believe someone mentioned that she's she's like having a solo debut um so it makes sense that actually this four of swords it's in reverse uh it means that she is like awakening from a long period of being like calming her mind you know like not necessarily resting is uh is negative actually um ne resting is necessary but i think that probably for her too much rest actually cause her to feel a bit anxious especially about her future and about what she wanted to offer you know probably this is when you probably yes you have the free time to rest but at the same time your mind is not resting because you do worry a lot you know these people i mean if they don't make music if they are not like uh, active they don't get paid so they definitely need to pull out resources and ideas and creation and they have also to convince people to 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 work with them you know to promote them to uh so it's it's a lot of mental process you know and in this i think that um i don't know her story but it seems like she had had potentially like struggled with nervousness in the past you know there's something about her not being able to rest properly you know probably having a lot of insomnia a lot of worries or night terrors you know like she is um she's thinking so much about what she can deliver you know what she can offer to the audience definitely she needs to work I think that she could potentially be a workaholic. This is why probably this rest period for her was a bit anxious, you know, was it was giving her anxiety. Uh, and now she's like, okay, I need to put my ideas into action. Like I need to make things happen for myself. And I think that slowly she's going to get a retribution with this new work or this new project that she's going to show i think that definitely there are going to be a lot of people like waiting to see her to see what she what she is is bringing arti artistically uh but there's also this sense of 
uh, probably you know the the reactions or the the you know the the reception of the of the audience is not going to be that generous like it's going to be it's going to be positive but it's not going to be like oh wow look how many sales we made or or it, she's going to be giving a very like um um like modest kind of feedback you know like like yes people definitely they are not going to ignore her work it, it, it seems like she's going to to be uh celebrated and she's going to get results uh she's going to get a reaction but i think that it's going to be a bit like you know maybe she's in the past she was used to much more reaction from the audience you know and probably now it's going to be a bit tight you know also the resources for the promotion and a lot of things are going to be a bit like mm, not easy you know not easy uh and and i think that this this sense of okay yes i'm 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 getting something out of this because obviously i i have the love of my fans but at the same time it seems like is not what she had in mind you know or she probably was she she's not 100 satisfied with the results of her work she's probably very you know i think that she is very like harsh on herself you know that she's very perfectionist uh and somehow you know i think that she definitely wants to see results and somehow the results are going to be a bit like not what she expects and 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 there's also here like that maybe it's also going to push her into this sort of like existential crisis you know about her career and and like about uh, like okay let's let's review our choices like let's let's talk let's reflect let's stop a bit and reflect about why we are doing this and why we are still here and why we want to keep going you know there's a sense of like that she definitely needs to stop and and observe things from a different perspective you know there's this sense of her feeling like she's not good enough or actually measuring her her value with how much she sales or for example how much uh impact how impactful she can be you know and i think that um it's, it's not that i don't think that it's 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 not it's not about the fans not getting involved i think that there's also this sense of probably that a lot of fans um actually they are being very cautious i don't know if her fan base or sister uh, fans are actually divided or are actually like i think that they are very modest also with and very selective about how they consume music you know probably i would say that they would be very cautious about how they spend their money So yes, they probably are going to support her work. They are going to do a few events, you know, like be very present for her, especially on media online. But there's something about them taking care of their finances as well and not being so like um so enthusiastic and being like, oh, "Okay, I'm going to buy I don't know a lot of a lot of this and and I'm going to buy a lot of merchandise and I'm going to buy I think that somehow the audience that follow her are going through a period of maturity you know and they somehow also are like reviewing their their own financial choices you know and and, and it's weird actually that I can see the fans perspective here because I'm not like you know I'm not reading for the fans but somehow there's something about economy here there's something about like okay like 
the money that I own is not like I'm not doing great financially. So I cannot like I can support you like doing some like getting involved in some activities, but like I don't know if I will be able to buy as many I don't know albums or many copies as as you would expect of me you know there's something about the the audience being a bit also picky about you know so this lets me know that actually it's possible that that uh, her fans are actually uh, people that have other responsibilities you know not r- I, I don't want to say like they are not young because I, I know they are, but probably they are not that impulsive buyers, you know, they are more like, okay, yes, like I want to support you, but I have bills to pay. And there's, there's also a bit of uncertainty when it comes to the fans as well, you know, uh, about them actually worrying about a lot of things about their own future <laughs> outside of K-pop, you know, or outside of, of being a K-pop fan. You know, there's also a level of like, I'm not doing so great myself. Like, I appreciate that you're still here, but there's something like, uh, I, I should look out for myself as well because I'm not feeling... Um, and probably, you know, there's something that I, I don't know why I'm getting this perception, you know, but I think that probably this is, I don't, I don't know, but I know that this is, I'm, I'm seeing the, the fans perspective of her and, pos- and potentially of the group. But I think that probably this is the reality of a lot of young adults in, that are fans in, especially in Korea, you know, I think that there's something about them being also represented by these high men, you know, like, okay, like, yes, life is not that great. Like I, I like, I have, I don't know, free jobs, you know, and I have a lot of bills to pay or I am in doubt. So it's, it's not that they don't support her enough or that they don't care enough. It's just that I think that they also the fans are in this hangman mode, you know, where they are with their hands tied behind their backs and they are like questioning a lot of things about themselves as fans as well and as consumers more, most of all, because I actually don't see cups here, you know, so definitely I don't see like uh, an emotional connection, you know, here like um like okay like i'm feeling nostalgic so i'm going to support this or you know or i'm feeling nostalgic and i'm going to work with this i think that here it's it's something very analytical and something that it has to do with numbers you know uh so i think that she's going to do well she's going to do great but probably she wanted to wanted to do better or be a bit more impactful you know there's something about her this is why i think that she is very perfectionist and there's something about that doesn't leave her mind that is like okay i have to do better like i have to do better i have to you know she she feels she definitely pressures herself a lot you know uh especially mentally uh and then we have the hermit so i think that yes she is actually a bit mysterious you know in the sense that she is like a hermit you know like probably she is very hard to read or like um i don't think that it's about being mysterious i think that it's more about that she's also going through a period in her life where she is reviewing why she what's the purpose of of this you know of her presence here you know and and what she could bring to the industry or what the the industry could give her you know there's something here that is very important that is the six of pentacles here so there's this sense of like give give and take you know there's this sense of balance like i want balance in my life i want to have an stability i want to build something stable and i don't know if maybe in the past what she did receive wasn't enough 
or she felt like she wasn't given or the group didn't get the opportunities that they wanted so bad so somehow right now she seems like to be relieving this or there's this unconscious fear inside of her or like okay i don't want to expose myself that much because i know that i'm not going to get the the results that i want you know so somehow she has become a bit cold you know or a bit too analytical you know because she has a lot a lot to fix when it comes to her emotions and and her and her trajectory and herself as a person i think that all of this and probably this sense of like you know i, I think that she needs to like reevaluate what's success for her you know what what does success mean to her what how what does success look like for her you know there's a sense of of like oh i didn't have the opportunities that i wanted or i was denied a lot of things and and now i'm stuck or now i think that whatever i'm receiving is not what i want so there's a wound here from the past this is why she's feeling anxious you know um but I think that this is all this is all a process that is very personal to her and I think that this this potential comeback or project or solo project is also going to help her go within herself, you know, and, and also being able to observe herself and her life in her choices and you know her own self. Like like yes, sometimes the hermit like invites you to go inwards yourself but this is a very personal journey and and i think that this is what she needs to do you know she needs to to stop expecting from the outside to give her a recognition that it had been denied in the past you know there's something about that her own value as a person don't have to be tied up to other people's expectation or numbers or ranking. You know, there's something about her like having this very, having this fear of failure, you know, and having this fear of being judged or being criticized. Probably she had been or the group or the other members had been heavily criticized. I don't know. Because, like I mentioned, I don't know the story, but it seems like she carries all that, all the, all those, like, all those wounds, all those dis disappointments of the past, you know. So I think that she definitely needs to start anew, you know, like like get rid of all emotional baggages, you know, because since she's starting this new. Uh, this new path or this new brand new beginning you know uh, presenting herself you know somehow the hermit is like inviting her to okay focus on yourself you know go deep into yourself but not to judge you or to feel pity for you go within yourself to to, to find out you know who you really are inside and what you want to what do you have to offer you know and and what changes or what what things you need to heal about yourself and your own history so you can be a bit more free of so many fears and so many blockages you know because i think that when i saw this i don't think that this has to do with people actually making it difficult for her to be successful. It's just that I think that there's a, a preconception of her in her mind of not being good enough, you know, or she does have like, she has to work on her self-esteem, you know, she has to work uh, with forgiving, you know, forgiving a lot of things from the past um so yes guys this is all i have for her uh so if you are a fan of them i would appreciate of course your feedback since i do not know much um so yes i will see you in the next video bye